ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ್ವ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದು ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಛಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶ್ಯಕೆ ಪಾಸಿಂದು ವ್ಯವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಘಯತಗಿರಿ ಜತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವಶ್ಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವವತ್ತೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರುಣ ಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಭರುಣ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಿಂಚನು ತರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯುಹಂ ಪುನತಪಾಲ್ಯಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೆ ಚರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಿಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಫಾಂ ಕೌಶಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕಾ ಬುಧಾತು ಶಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಯುತಾಕ್ಷ ಭೀಷಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭುತಾರ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಚ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಚದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತ್ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮಧಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸಿ ಜಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀರ್ ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ತತ್ಸಾಧು ಮನ್ಯ ಅಸುರ ಬರ್ಜ ದೇಹಿನ 
सदा समुद्भिघ्न धियाम सदगृहाद हिवात्पात गृहमंदकूपम वनम नद हरिमाश्रिए तत्साधु मे असूरवर्ज देहिना सदा समुद्भिघ्न धियाम सदगृहाद हिवात्पात गृहमंदकूपम वनम नद हरिमाश्रिए गौरिया गोष्ठीपति श्रीशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी जगत प्रभुपा परमंस जगदगुरु टोल सो लॉन्ग एज वी आर इन कनेक्शन विथ अनंत दे वी कैन रिमेन पीसफुल गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्रीशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी जगत प्रभुपा परमंस जगदगुरु टोल सो लॉन्ग सो लॉन्ग एज वी कैन गेट इन कनेक्शन विथ अनंत देव वी कैन स्टे पीसफुली द मोमेंट वी आर डिसकनेक्टेड फ्रॉम डिटाच फ्रॉम द लोटस फीट ऑफ अनंत देव डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ पर्सियलिटी जेलसी सेल्फिशनेस poisonous mood can develop the moment we are detached from the lotus feet of ananta dev different kind of dissatisfaction can come jealousy big problem that's why our guru bargo giving us advice specially popa speaking always we should get in contact with anant anantadev not even fraction of second not even fraction of second we should be detached from the lotus feet of anantadev then all different kind of problem can come around us and put us into you know into maya we can go down and down bonded soul always try to get satisfaction bonded soul always try to get enjoyment actually they are incomplete bonded soul mean chit particle they are incomplete so they have their tendency to approach to our to us towards complete object i mean bhagwan they have that tendency they don't know and that tendency they are going to divert other way natural tendency they have they like to get complete satisfaction but complete complete satisfaction where from they get in their swarup they have their one bhava they like to reach complete satisfaction but they cannot because they are infinitely small they are incomplete so incomplete jivatma all if they can reach up to the lotus feet of bhagwan then they can get complete satisfaction not before that nal pe bhumam nal pe sukham asti bhumai va sukham we are getting like you know like honey bees collecting little little honey we cannot completely compare it is we can compare this with some paramansa but in negative way we can say like they are collecting these 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 we like to get enjoyment here 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 but all we like to get enjoyment this way from here something from here something here something this way that's why never we can get satisfaction one question hiranya gushibu going to put in front of pallad maharaj pallad maharaj putting question in front uh, hiranya gushibu going to put question in front of pallad maharaj he is asking pullad ma 
you can uh, what you think fit you have learned something na from your gurukul from your gurukul you learned something na whatever you think fit nice you can speak i like to hear what you learned poladma thought i learned from gurukul they are material guru i learned from material guru something but that is not my that is not acceptable for me hiranagazu wanted to say that you were sent to gurukul so what you learned from there and polladma was thinking they are at all not my guru how they can become guru they are not realized soul they are not realized soul they are bonded soul how they can act as guru guru mean who can give my re, me realization they give me material education so prahlad maharaj wanted to give answer according to siddhant vichar prahlad maharaj speaking tat sadu manne he asura var jo dehi naam for bonded soul i mean for all bonded soul i think it fit i think it fit that by leaving this material world which can be compared with blind well you know blind well you know where water is not available which can this material sansar in which we are enjoying very much in the material sansar where we are enjoying very much it can be compared with one blind well nothing else so prahlad maharaj speaking i think it fit if that bonded soul can go away they are full of anxiety they are full of anxiety all the time you can so one single man in the society you can so me one single man in the society who is who is out of anxiety out of tension you can show me one kind of unknown fear they don't know there is no problem but still one kind of unknown fear going to follow them chase them chase you know chase one kind of unknown fear going to chase them this way all problem polad ma speaking all bonded soul material people they are full of anxiety full of tension so better if they can if they can live the if they can live this material sansar and go to forest go to forest to take shelter of hari hari bhagwan lotus feet that i think best because hari is the only support for us our bank money our son daughter our appliances not all well, cannot give us support it is not support only hari is our support so pullag ma speaking tat sad manne he asura varjo dehi nam he asura shreshtho pullag ma giving honor to hiranagasivu he is not speaking father mind it he is not speaking father he don't like to speak there is father because his mentality is totally different he don't like to speak father he wanted to give honor to hiranagasibu as the topmost you know personality in 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 ashur destiny in ashur destiny you are the topmost i mean you are the topmost asura you are idiot you are top most asura by hiranagasu was thinking my son is very learned giving me honor like when muslim people muslim ruler they sent some people to beat policeman they are beating haridas thakur they are beating haridas thakur heavily 
a different market, 22 different market. Finally, Haridas Chakur is not going to die because he is enjoying the full keeper of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But they like to kill. Finally, they say, you are not going to die. Our master, I mean the king, can give us punishment. You are not going to die. We are beating you to kill you, but you are not going to die. So then we are in problem. King can go. King can give us. Haridasu, well, really? For me, for me, you are going to get punishment. So okay, you see, I am going to die. Then Haridas Thakur is going to manifest such a lila as if it is a dead body. Then, then Muslim people, they took decision, we can throw this dead body into Ganga. Because Ganga, as per their estimation, Ganga is the oldest place. As per the estimation of Muslim people, Ganga is a very dirty place. So they took decision, you can throw this body into Ganga, so this is his punishment. The Jivatma, which is there inside Haridas time. So this is the nature of demonic character. So Hiranyakasipu thinking, my son uh, is speaking, I am the topmost and am among all Asura destiny. That's a big honor giving, he enjoying. But he is very afraid, he is feeling very problem that my son how going to, uh, uh, you know, going to get this kind of knowledge. Because I appoint, because I appoint such a teacher, such teachers, two teachers, Sandhu and Amargo, where from he is learning. There is no question. I send, I send him to such a Gurukul where no possibility of getting Hari Bhakti. But where from he is getting? Parlatma speaking, I think it is appropriate, is good for bonded soul to leave this this material world, which can be material sansar, which can be compared with the blind well, where they are whole day and night feeling tension and anxiety, better they can go out of this sansar and concentrate onto the lotus feet of Hari. Is I think good. Now this ban, banam gata yad hari masrai, this ban we can Explain this way, Pallad Maharaj, though, though Pallad Maharaj is from Sattaju, but still Pallad Maharaj giving indication if you go to Vrindavan forest. We can take it this way. Another explanation is there in Bhagavatam that Banam to Sattikam Basam, Rajasam Gramuchate, Tamasam Dutta Sadanam, and My temple, my place is Shat, appropriate place. So, Banam to Satyakam Basam. In Bhagavatam, Man, man Niketanastu Nirgunam. What speaking? Banam to Satyakam Basam. Rajasam Gramo Chati. Tamasam Dutta Sadanam. Man Niketanastu Nirgunam. Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking to Uddha. Man Niketan Mane, my place, my dham, abode, temple, or dham, all of Prakita. So, as per this calculation, we can see Banam to Satikam Basam. Banam to Satikam Basam means to stay with Sadhuguru Vaishnava. Banam to Satikam Basam is called Satik living. It's called Satik living. The meaning of Satya Bligin, Satik living, means to stay with Sadhguru Vaishnava to discuss the topics of Bhagavan. This is one meaning. Same meaning, the same meaning Brahma wanted to speak. Brahma wanted to speak the same thing. Gane prayasa mudapasa namanti eva. Jivanti Sanmukhari Tam Bhavadiyo Vartam Sanes Sita Sutikatam Tonuvang Manovir 
जे प्रयासो अजीतोपी जीतोपी ओशी तो ही श्रीलोक्यम ब्रह्मा ऑल्सो स्पीकिंग आई लाइक टू थ्रो ऑल माई फॉल्स इगो माई फॉल्स एफर्ट माई फॉल्स एफर्ट ऑफ ज्ञान आई वॉन्ट टू अप्लाई माई हेड माई ज्ञान नॉलेज बाय ऑल लाइन नाउ आई लाइक टू थ्रो आई लाइक टू थ्रो एवे ज्ञान ए प्रयास आई कैन नॉट एप्लाई माई ब्रेन ज्ञान ए प्रयास मुदपाश्य आई लाइक टू थ्रो एवे आई डोंट लाइक टू डिपेंड अपॉन माई पर्सोनल पावर I don't like to depend upon my personal power. Enough of it. Enough of it. I am failure. By personal effort, I can never know Bhagwan. So Brahma speaking, Gane Priya Samudapasso Namanti Evo. Namanti mean I am going to submit. Nama mean no mo. I mean false ego. You shall throw away. Nama. Namanti Evo. Eva mean affirmative. Surely, I am going to pay dandavat unto a lotus feet of Bhagwan. Gaine praya samudavasya namanti eva jivanti sanmukhuri tam bhavadiyo vartam sthanas sitaha suti gatam tonu bang manovir. I like to stay in front of those sadhus. They can speak Hari Kata. How I can live? How I can live? I can live in front of sadhu. They can sing the glories of Bhagwan, so I can feel comfortable. And with kai man bhakka, body, speech, and mind. By bodies, by body, speech, and mind, I like to submit unto lotus feet of Bhagwan. If body going to submit, mind not going to support. It is not inclination. body speech and mind when three all together together going to pay dandava that is called perfect dandava otherwise not so when bamma speaking this way i like to stay in front of sadhu they can speak all the glories of bhagwan i like to hear those hari kathas and by kai man vakta body speech and mind i can submit unto the lotus feet of bhagwan and this way though we know This way, though I know that Bhagwan can never be conquered, Brahma speaking. Though I know, Bhagwan speaking. Though I know, Bhagwan can never be conquered, but can be conquered by devotion. Bhakti reva nayati, bhakti neva darshayati. We know Narad Bhakti Shutra. Nice. Bhakti can help me. bhakti can take me in front of bhagwan bhakti can allow me to meet with bhagwan is possible bhakti reva vyasi so brahma also took decision this way and pollad maharaj going to speak that i think it is a uh, it is good for it is good for those bonded soul if they can leave this material samsar and go to forest and uh, take shelter of bhagwan but here on point if material people going to think that prolad maharaj going to advise to go to forest so i can go to forest somebody can say it is the advice of prolad maharaj so why not i go to forest but it is strictly prohibited because when you are going to forest you can carry your bonded mind bonded bonded intellect all a material intellect and material brain when you are when you are going to forest there you can carry with you same body which is full of anartha same intellect which is full of problem same mind same mind which is full of matter and matter and matter if you search your mind you can find all in suspended condition mind can be confused our our big big and uh, guru varga i mean bisuna chakoti adi sidha sai pat all as per their estimation mind can be compared with sky ether you know 
Mind, you cannot touch mind. But mind is there. Mind is there. In mind, inside your mind, different, like in the water suspension, you know? Water suspension, you don't know? If you take water and watch with microscope, you can see there's so many suspension in the water. So many. But it can only be seen with naked eyes. So many. Like in the air, if you look with, I don't know, with machine, you can see in the air so many countless dust. You can see? So your mind, mind is also such a thing. Mind is matter. So material mind can, material mind can help all matter to stay inside mind. It is the nature of material mind. Material mind can invite. Material mind can invite all material things, attractive, attractive things. Material mind can invite all attractive material things. Come and stay in. Though externally you are sitting in front of Bhagavan or in front of Guru Vishnu, but inside your mind, if you search, there is so many countless, you know, Things in suspended, like in the like in the like in the sky, like in the sky, you can discover star and planets of, of sun, moon, all in the sky, in the sky. Similarly, in the sky, similarly in the sky of your mind, there I can show you there is countless material thing. We cannot concentrate. Because your mind, our mind is divided into different parts. Mind is broken. This portion of the mind gone this way. This portion of the mind gone that way. This consumer this way. All scattered. Like mercury, you know, mercury, you know, mercury. Mercury, you don't know? Inside thermometer, there is one mercury. So if you put here, due to hot, mercury can go. Capillary. Hello. So somehow in my somehow if you break somehow if you break the thermometer and somehow this mercury coming out of the capillary, I mean the thermometer all around. If you like to collect, if you like to collect, you can go away. You cannot collect. You can try to collect this way, but if you collect you can go. When mercury is scattered, when mercury is already scattered in the ground, impossible to collect. If you collect, it can go this way. Follow. This way, all our material mind is scattered. All our material mind is scattered different way. So, first advice we receive from Guru Bharga, to collect all your broken mind, gone to Hawaii, America, San Francisco, here, Follow, Philadelphia or in German, or you have to collect your mind. You have to collect your mind and you will have to drive, you will have to drive that, that mind single way, under the guidance of your wish. Mind is impossible to get control. I can speak one thing, that Pallad Maharaj, though, though Pallad Maharaj is from Satya Yuga, so the meaning we find that Pallad Maharaj never wanted to send bonded soul into forest. Because what is the inner meaning of what is the inner meaning of, of what Pallad Maharaj is speaking? What is the inner meaning? Who can understand? So literal meaning. So literal meaning that Pallad Maharaj asking us to go to forest. But surely Pallad Maharaj cannot misguide us. Surely, Pallad Mahamud. If Pallad Maharaj is going to misguide her, why not Pallad Maharaj can go to forest himself? He is not going to forest. He is not going to forest. He is staying with full stamina. Pallad Maharaj is staying with full stamina in front of that demon, Hiranyakasu. Whatever torture, whatever problem happened, but concentration, 
is there unto the mind is mind is running unto the lotus feet of Bhagavan. So the meaning that banam to saptikam basam, I can stay among Shadu Guru Vaishnav who can speak the topics of Bhagavan surely. When Shadu Guru Vaishnav they are they are not going to speak about money position, no. Surely they can speak about I already told Jatrottama Sloka Gunanu Vadaha Jatrottama Sloka Gunanu Vadaha Prasuyate Gramma Katha Bigataha. When we are, when one pure sadhu is present, we have seen practically. Sila Bhakti Bhumpuri Yashima. Practically you see. Siddhar Maharaj was there. Nobody can come in from Siddhar Goswami Maharaj to discuss about the land price or market valuation of share. Nobody. Valuation of share up down. No, nobody. Anybody coming, Maharaj, like to ask some question. So they have no scope. They have no scope to speak some material thing in front of Siddhar Goswami. They have no scope to speak anything material in front of Bhakti Bhumatpuri how they can speak? Because they are continuously Hari Kirtan going on. Na. Jatrutma Sloka Gunan Vadaha Prasuyate Gramma Katha can get a feedback. If you speak Brahma Katha, Hari Katha going on, who is going to speak material Katha? You can speak. You cannot speak. You have no, sp no chance. Ah, your material mind can go to some other place. I cannot get guarantee of that. Can go. But anyway, you are not going to speak out. Jatrottama Sloka Gunan Vadaha, when Bhagavad Katha going on from heart, one flow, Nicterian flow of Harikatha going on, in that case, surely you cannot speak about the market valuation of some jewel or market price of a share market. Not possible. So, Jatrottama Sloka Gunan Vadaha Prasuyate. Gramma katha vigatha and that harikatha nishabhyamanam anudinam. Uninterrupted way. Anudinam mane, anudinam mane, every day, every time. Anudinam mane, under the guidance of Guru Vaishnav, under their guidance, you can hear Guru Harikatha. Anudinam. Mamukshur, those feeling disturbance, problem, all problem can go vanish. So, Yatrottama Sroku Gunana Vadaha Prasuyate Gramma Katha Vigatha Nishabhyamanam. If you drink that Nicharyan Harikatha, Nishab Onudinam Mamukshar Matim Satim Jachati Vasudevi. You can develop your love, you can develop your bhakti unto the lotus feet of that Supreme Lord. It is the nature. Anyway, when Prolabna is speaking, Banam Gatahayat Harimasraya. Another meaning we can say that Pulladma is want to indicate us, O oh, Jivatma, if you like to if you like to get excellent benefit. Another meaning. If you want to get excellent benefit in your life, excellent. After that you cannot think. Then you can go to Vrindavan. Because Radharan is speaking in Bhagavatam it is written. Radharan is speaking to Krishna. When Krishna gone from Vrindavan externally, because from Vrindavan Krishna never go. Vrindavan from Vrindavan Krishna never going. Nanda Nandan Krishna never going out of Vrindavan. He going to hide himself to grow their bhava of separation. He hide himself. Inside Vrindavan. Jiva Goswami Pad told, Nanda Nanda Krishna never going out of Vrindavan. But we see, we see Krishna gone out of Vrindavan. That is one kind of Leela. Otherwise, this kind of tremendous attraction, we cannot feel Krishna gone. This kind of tremendous, painful feeling cannot appear inside heart. Krishna is our heart, Krishna gone. They are also, we can find Radharani speaking in front of Krishna. Same thing. Anir Hidayamon 
Anir Hidoy Mon, Mormon Bindavan. Rather than speaking, outside people, they are thinking something. Anir Hidoy Mon, what is there? In heart, they are thinking in mind. But for me, but for me, it is not true. My mind and Vrindavan all the same. My mind and Vrindavan identical. You cannot believe. Rather than speaking, Anir Hidayamon, Mormon Vrindavan, Monebone Akkori Bhadi. What is mind? That is heart. Vrindavan. My mind is equal to Vrindavan. So for Jivatma, it is the topmost advice given by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to take shelter of Vrindavan, to worship Jugal Kishar, Radha Govindo. Everywhere, when Mahaprabhu asking question to Rai Ramananda, after the Rai Ramananda Sangbad is over, or I can show you when Mahaprabhu is going to Allahabad, Allahabad there, then one Brahman, is there, he is also, Mahaprabhu asking question. Mahaprabhu asking question to that Brahman. Then same thing Mahaprabhu speaking. A Brahman speaking, Mahaprabhu feeling. Sham eva param rupam. Sham rup is the topmost. Sham eva param rupam. Bayo koishwarakam dhyam. My mean, Mahaprabhu himself going to advise us different way. Mahaprabhu going to speak that Shama Eva Param Rupam. Shama Rup, Sham Shunga is the top. Shama Eva Param Rupam, Bayo, age 16 year age of Krishna. When he is playing with Radharani all the time. Bayo koisharakam dheyam. Shama eva param rupam. Bayo koisharakam dheyam. Uh, and about dham. About dham. Mahapo speaking. That among all dham, Mathura is a Mathura mandal means Vrindavan. Mathura means city Vrindavan and total Mathura mandal. So Mathura is the topmost. And Rasa, about Rasa, Raghupati Upadhyay, the Brahman, name of the Brahman is Raghupati Upadhyay. Raghupati Upadhyay is going to teach, going to, going to speak that among all Rasa, Addo Eva Parasa. Addo, Addo means prime Ras. Prime Ras. I Adharas means Primla Madhuras. It is a it is a topmost. Addhyeva Pararasa. Common people cannot understand the Adharasa, I mean this Madhurasa is the source of all rasa. According to capacity, according to their according to their capacity and quality, they are going to accept. Madhurasa is topmost. Because in Madhurasa, all rasa are already there. Among Madhurasa, all other rasa are already there. Not that everybody can run from Madhurasa, according to their capacity. According to the capacity, according to the instruction of Guru Vaishnava, we can do. So, rather than speaking this way, that manavane, my mind is Vrindavan. So, to get top, topmost benefit, to get topmost benefit in your life, Mahaprabhu many times told, Mahaprabhu many times told that bonded soul can get topmost benefit if they are going to accept Vrindavan as their worshipable object. Because you know, Gauriya Siddhanta, which you forget. Aradha Bhagavan Bhajasasthanaya Staddhama Vindavanam. Aradha Bhagavan Bhajasasthanaya Staddhama Vindavanam. Ramma Kachitupasana Prajapati Vargeno Jakalpita. 
Shrimad Bhagavatam Pramana Mamalam Prema Pumartha Mahano Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhur Matam Idam Tattadharana. I mean the total Siddhanta Vichar of Nid. Total Siddhanta Vichar of Total complete Siddhanta Vichar of Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu speaking. It is the Siddhanta Vichar of Mahaprabhu. Sinat Sinat Thakur. Sinat Thakur writing. As a parcel of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Aradha Bhagavan of Jajasthanaya Staddhama Vrindavan. Our worshipable object is Vrindavan and Jugal Sarka, Radha Govindu, and all paraphernalia. So, Aradha Bhagavan Vajasthanaya Staddhama Vrindavan, Ramma Kachitu Vasana Vajabhadi Vargeno Jakalpita. How we can worship? What is the procedure? Well, you will have to worship Radha Govindaji, Vrindavan. We will have to worship Radha Govindaji or his Parikar or Vrindavan under the guidance of Brajavadu Vargana Jagalpita. The way, the way, the way Brajavasi, I mean Brajagopikas, wanted to worship. The way, the best possible way, the best possible, the best possible way, all Brajagopikas, they wanted to satisfy Krishna, that is the best way. That is the top one. Brajavadu Vargana Jagalpita. And Srimad Bhagavatam is the topmost documentary. When we find something in Srimad Bhagavatam, then we are blindly, we can say it's okay. But for other Puran, there is no such guarantee. Because though Puran cannot write any wrong, but the purpose of different Puran is different. I am sure Puran cannot write mistake. But purpose of different Puran is different. Because if Rajasik Puran, if you read, then you will have to get inspiration accordingly. If you are going to follow Tamasik Puran, so accordingly you can get inspiration, naturally. But if you try to understand that total outcome, why Tamasik Puran speaking this way? Why Rajasik Puran this is it? They have their purpose. Because all people, they are not same category. Some people, they are in the category of Tamaguna. Some people, they are in the category of Rajaguna. Some people, people they are in the category of Satoguna. So they cannot jump. They have no capacity. So it's good that if Sastra going to guide them this way, and finally they can realize, oh, is the final. At least for the time being, at least for the time being, they can get some support. So in Tamaguna, Tamasik Puran, it is written, Sankar Bhagavan is all in all. So what wrong in? In Sattik Puran, in, Tamas, in Tamasik Puran, it is written, Sankar Bhagavan is all. Sankar Bhagavan is all. They are writing. In Rajasik Puran, it is written, Brahma is all. Brahma is all. So wrong it, what wrong? Because Bhagavan speaking, me, Brahma, Sankar, all same. Because I, finally, if you are going to search Shaktik Puran, you can get the support of Vishnu as a final. And in any sarsa, if you go, if you have your kipa, even if you bring some Tamasik Puran, Rajasik Puran, I can show you there is a very secret indication about Krishna. Like the case of Pallad Maharaj. Pallad Maharaj speaking in front of Hiranyakashipu. Pallad Maharaj speaking when Shatta Yuga. But still Pallad Maharaj is going to indicate about Krishna. Pallad Maharaj is going to speak about Krishna. Huh? If somebody is speaking, where from Krishna coming? Because it was Satya Yuga. That time Krishna was not there. Motir na Krishna parato shatova. 
mitho vipadde to giho vratanam adant govir vishatam tamisram punaha puno chorvito char vananam the where from pulladma speaking why pulladma speaking about krishna where is krishna krishna is not there but pulladma in satya yuga speaking motiruna krishna paroto sato motiruna krishna paroto sato i can explain tomorrow today i will have to so motiruna krishna paroto sato directly or indirectly by the help of material people anyway you are not going to get bhakti motir na krishna paroto sato directly or indirectly directly or indirectly by the help of material people or your personal effort we can, you can never understand krishna motir na krishna paroto sato mitho vapadde to grihapatana those who are those who are with griho medha those who are busy with griho medha i mean do sansar try to understand <clears throat> those who are busy with griho medha material things for them by their personal effort or by the help of some material people anyway mutual effort you cannot because they are material mitho vipadde do giha batanam because they are adanto they are sense organ their sense organ is not their sense organ are not under their control odan 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 to govir vishatam tamisham their sense organ is not under their control so naturally they are running here and there odan to govir odan to govir vishatam tamisham same material enjoyment same material enjoyment in family life they are enjoying same material in daily daily they are enjoying still they are feeling enjoyment same material enjoyment they are feeling in the family life but still they think some test still they think how they can go to dam to do parikram how they can go what they can realize about dam they getting enjoyment in family life do daily same enjoyment pulladma speaking the same thing you are chewing 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 same thing you are again going to take and chew same thing you are chewing chewing and you are feeling some rasa coming out of one example i give usually one dog very hungry dog one very hungry dog for long time not taking anything food nobody give hungry dog here and there for one day two day not taking anything is feeling very hungry finally he discover one dry bone dry bone you know some beast of going to die dry bone scattered here he discovered that dry bone he thing is very nice thing i am very hungry i am going to get one nice tasteful tasteful food you going to collect it and sitting under a tree and chewing now how chewing but is dry come on it is dry bone it is dry bone there is nothing it is dry long ago it was thrown in the field but the dog cannot understand the dog going to think it is very tasteful thing dry bone nothing there is going to chew chew finally what happens because there is some sharp there is some sharp edge of a bone and going to cut his own mouth the dog going to cut his own mouth here chew and sigh and blood coming you know blood coming out and the dog thinking so tasteful his own blood his own blood coming out the dog cannot understand the dog cannot understand my own blood coming out because i am chewing some sharp edge going to cut my portion a blood coming out is a very tasty again you are chewing even chewing but nothing there 
Pallad Maharaj is going to sing, Pallad Maharaj is going to think, speak, that same thing with Grihastha people. Grihastha people, if they are sadhu, but with this enjoying mood, they are also Grihastha. Not that he is sannyasi, acharya, he is topmost, not that. If they have enjoying mood, they are also Grihastha. Only the difference that there is no certificate, they, they are not, uh, there is certificate that they, are, they have no wife, this much. There is no such certificate that wife is there, but this much. But all same, like a gift to people. They are enjoying everything. This is the condition. So they are also Grihamedha. So Pralatma is going to speak this way. So Krishna and Satyaju. But Pralatma speaking in Krishna, I am Bhagavan Sri Krishna, I am Pralatma in Satyaju. How speaking about Krishna? That means Krishna eternally present. Now about Dhamparikama I was speaking, how under the guidance of your Guru Vaishnava we have to do. I like to relate this incident, I mean this sloka, Tatsadu Manne Surabarjo, with one incident happened at the time of Bhakti Dutta Madhav Goswami during their Brajamandal Parikam. <coughs> one or two incidents I can speak. And then tomorrow I can speak about Prabhupada. After that, Gauranga Mapu, how? Then after that, we can start Parikram. Madhav Goswami Maharaj and Bhakti Pramod Puri Goswami are all there together. They are doing Dham Parikram, they arrange. They are making tent, tent, you know, tent. Here, tent. All thousands of devotees mm -hmm. staying, cooking arrangements, sleeping, all here in the field. I was also. I was not seeking any hotel accommodation. Anywhere I go, you cannot believe me. I walk one day, I can come to the point, I walk at minimum 40 kilometers that day. There was no sufficient, I couldn't get some, you know, misery, candy and water. I come to some place, I can dis describe in details, like to touch one point. Then after that, I reach, as somebody say, there is one inside, you can, one temple, you can go. You can take rest, right? I go there. I find there is no room, nothing. Nobody. They think we are beggar. Really we are beggar. So not giving any importance. I go, okay, there is a broken place. I, I put my asan there. Totally open. And what to speak, night time, around 7, 8, there was one function. Function, you know, drama. So, you know, Brajavasi? Brajavasi, their drama, their music can break your ear. <laughs> Brajavasi, they are so enthusiastic. Boom, boom. They are putting Kartal, this, that, they are Ravan, this, what, what is happening, I don't know. This is just here, just, you know, 50 uh, feet away, there, I am here. After that, somehow, uh, some banana, this, there, I took. After that, I took rest there. What is happening there? Hunuman, monkey, dancing, or Ravan, shouting, I couldn't hear. I sleep. Deep sleep. Deep sleep, I couldn't, morning time, I discover everything was gone. So much shouting. But no problem for me. I sleep nicely. So, to go for Brajamandal Parikama, Dham Parikama, you should offer yourself unto the lotus feet of Nithana. This is the first. This is the first step. If you're going to reserve something, try to understand. If you like to reserve something for your own, your privacy, your prasadam facility, your accommodation, like to pry, you know, reserve something, you cannot do parikram. One example. One devotee, he took initiation from my Guru Maharaj. I am not going to speak his disciple. I am very punctual. When I am speaking one one word, he cannot catch any fault. So, I am not going to speak his disciple of Bhakti Pumatpuri. But anyway, to, he, externally he took Harinam Diksha from him. My scientific explanation. For 
at least four times, for at least four times, he tried his best to do parikram. It is no story. You can go to our one of our godbrother there in Vrindavan, Dauji Mahal. You know, Abhudut Maharaj, you can ask. Four times or five times he tried his best, but he is failure. Suppose he leave from Vrindavan, going to Bhuteshwar, he developed loose motion, coming out. Next year he is going to approach Talwan, he get developed dysen dysentery, come back. Next year going there, he go vomiting and fever, come back. Repeatedly, for consecutively, consecutively for four or five years of failure. And by chance, our Abhudut Maharaj know that uh, Maharaj going to, then he going to say, you go with Sambhava. I was not going to take anybody, but he is going to catch me, Maharaj. Anyway, you have to take me. I said, for me, if you do, it's very strict. You cannot do. Well, now I can obey you, what you say. Finally, he was successful to do Parikram. That year, that year he was successful to do Parikram. Anyway, what I mean to say, if you are really interested, if you, are, you don't know, one old man of 80 years, just two years back he died. Just two years back, he died. I used to stay in Govardhan, here, Giriraj Maharaj here. Too much hot. That man staying in Bindavan for the past 60 years. The time I meet him, his age was 78, 80. The time I meet him, when I, when I started living there in Bhajan Kuti, he was there. It was his mat. Finally, he give away to Devananda Goryamat. But that man staying in Vrindavan for si over 60 years, but he never done Parikram. Tulsi Devi here. He finally catch me. He left, I, I can do Parikram. The, how you can do? You are 8 years. I can do. Finally he started doing Parikram. I can come to this point. How he complete Parikram and started crying. Impossible for him. So, to do Dhamparikram, first it is your duty to submit yourself unto the lotus feet of Balaji Maharaj. If you have failure to do, surely you can meet with some problem. If externally you are not going to submit unto Balaji Maharaj, at least you have to submit unto the lotus feet of such a sadhu who is the, who is the devotee of Nityananda. I mean, Nitai Charan Sattva Taro Sevak Nitya. At least you will have to take shelter and do a lot of this feet of such a sadhu whom Nityananda Balaram sent here. If you directly cannot take shelter of Nityananda Balaram, so at least you will have to do it. Then you can come out successful. There is scientific evidence. So Madhav Goswami Maharaj and Bhakti Pramod Puri Goswami Maharaj, Bhakti Pramod is also there, but our mother, our Bharti, Bharti Maharaj also there, they are doing all parikram. Big parikram party. Madhav Gusri Maharaj, you know, so enthusiastic mood. You cannot take trouble. If I give the responsibility of two devotees, Prabhu, you take care of your oh, big problem for me. If you give responsibility that Prabhu, you can take care of three, four devotees or two devotees, you can feel problem. Ah, I have my personal seva. This. But Madhav Gusima, you think, Madhav, why Madhav Gusima is so great? Because always Madhav Gusima, Bhakti Vita Madhav Gusima, used to arrange a big function so that all common people can participate there, get kipa, prasadam. He can take trouble very easily. Very easily, Madhav Gusima. Every year, Bhakti Vita Madhav Gusima Maharaj, is to arrange Dham Parikram. Madhu Gusima arranging Parikram, big pandal, I mean, program. There, they are devotees, they are staying. Again, they are running forward. There is one taktar in which all they put their tent, everything, danda, rod, everything they put in the 
tractor, tractor going to the next spot, tractor going to the next spot and going to unload all the items. Because here, yeah, when all devotees they are going to leave for parikram, then the tent is open, back end, they are going to open everything and pack, put in the tractor and the tractor straight away going to the next spot. In the meantime, Madhu Goswami Maharaj, Bhakti Pumatpuri Goswami Maharaj, they are doing parikram, going. One place, one place in Kama. In the open field, open field, they are making tent. There is no water facility. So finally, they took decision to make their tent in such a place. At least there is one water source, only one. What is that? One well, well, water. At least they can take water out of the well, you know, by pooling, by pooling. One pot, they can throw into well and they can, and water they can collect. This is a nice place. So according to the advice of Brajavasis, they arrange very nice place where all their Madhu Goswami Maharaj is great. Cooking, thousands of people taking prasadam, even Brajavasis is coming to take prasadam from adjacent village. Not only Parambija Madhav Goswami Maharaj is not selfish. Parambija Madhav Goswami Maharaj is not selfish. He always to make prasadam in such a way so that after they all taking some prasadam, they can distribute among Brajavasis. Here also in Navadip Dham Parikram. When the next day, next day of Gauranga Abhirvaktiti, Kaur Purnim, I am not making any story, fact, so that your heart can melt down. So that your heart can melt down, you can understand what is Dham, what is Sadhu, who can do Parikram, all you can understand. Madhav Goswami Maharaj, it was the usual rule. After Gaur Purnim, next day is Jagannath Mr. Ananda Usap. Next day, Jagannath Mitra festival. Then Madhu Goswami used to call all ghosts, all ghosts, you know, from different village, all ghosts, they are coming to take prasad. And Madhu Goswami want to make paramanna, how many, how many ton of milk? Very big, make paramanna. And when Devotees, they are distributing prasadam. So many milk, big amount of milk, I mean paramanna. After making paramanna, after sa prasadam, devotees, they are going to distribute among, I mean brahmachari, they are going to distribute. And Brahmachari Madhav Goswami Maharaj, watching. They are distributing in line. Madhav Goswami Maharaj, this is called sadhu. Madhav Goswami watching. Hey, you give paramanna here. Give more. Give here sweet. Here. So loveful heart. He used to visit all flesh. He keep this, that, this way. And some gosha, some goes there, na, they are very greedy, you know. They like to they like to bring so big, big pot. <laughs> they like to bring big big pot for the house. They like to are you take prasadam here? Here the take. And a paramanna in pot and put backside. <laughs> it is a rule. You know, village man, it is naturally. They can take prasadam up to this point. It's okay. But still they like to carry prasadam around. <laughs> what to do? So Brahmachari, one Brahmachari become very angry. Almost be very angry. Why you are taking prasadam here? You take prasadam. Why you are taking going to carry in pot? Then by chance, Madhav Goswami Maharaj watch. Madhav Goswami watching. Otherwise, they were supposed to have <laughs> a big fighting. Madhav Goswami Maharaj asking that Brahmachari. He is hesitating. He is hesitating to give prasadam to that ghost who can carry that prasadam for his old mother. Maybe some old lady, old mother, they cannot come. So, Madhav Goswami is watching from long distance. Madhukasana immediately come. What happens? Asking to Brahmachari. 
Maharaj, he is taking prasadam and going to carry for home. <laughs> Madhu Goswami was speaking, you have taken prasadam. Madhu Goswami was asking, Madhu Goswami was asking to the Brahmachari, you have taken prasadam. Yes. More prasadam you like to take? No, 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 sufficient. Then you give. If you like to take more prasadam, I can give to you. If it is extra, you can give to them. They can carry to home. Because at least they are going to take prasadam. Old man, old child, maybe they are not coming. They can take, they give, give. So similar way. In Brajamandal or Gormand, same thing. Madhu Gusimaj, his heart is so big that whole world can get accommodation inside the heart of Madhu Gusimaj. It is called Madhu Gusimaj. Whole world can get accommodation inside the heart of Madhu Gusimaj. So great. So one incident I can speak, no time today. In Kama they arrange, I already told, by the advice of Brajavasi, Maharaj, you can uh, fix up tent here. There is one well, water source. Okay, nice. For cooking, for drinking, we need water. Where we can go? This forest. Then they arrange tent, everything. There was no electricity. They arrange some torch, you know of kerosene or this, that, there. Some brahmachari, round the clock, round the clock in the night time. You cannot even imagine. Even it is out of your imagination. How possible that a brahmachari can serve this way? Round the clock in the night time. Whole day parikrama done. But still after that, night time, they are going to Round the clock, they are around the, you know, round the clock, around the tent, they are searching. There can be some jackal. Jackal can come on, a small baby can take away. So, the, all the time with torch, they are searching. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. In the meantime, by chance, what happened, you know, night time, one old lady, very old, Above 80 years or 82 years, that old lady, she is not going to speak to anybody that I need water. Not speaking. She herself going to take, going to take pot to take water. Old man cannot see properly. There is no light. That old lady going to collect water from the pond. At the pond, I pond man. That well, well, that was little far. Brahmachari could not understand who gone where because it's, somehow it was the arrangement. She wanted to take water from the well. There was a rope, you know, rope, you know, the system, rope. Rope is there, there is a bucket. You have to lose the rope, rope can go and I can take water, then we have to pull. This is the system, no? Well, by chance that old lady is blind, cannot see properly. She slipped, but the well was up to this point. Well was not so high. Well up to this point, down this point. And he is pulling, and by chance his leg slipped backside. The lady gone into that well. The lady already gone into the well. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. That old lady going to dry drinking, wow, drinking water. In the meantime, it is the arrangement of Bhagavan. One Brahmachari, he, he also need water. He wanted to go to the well. He finds some sound, he is shouting. Then the, all the guardmen coming and what? Yeah, the old lady, old man, down the water. Finally, all Brajavasis, they are coming, they are helping that old lady to come out of the well. He was supposed to die. If there is 10 minutes late, 10, 15 minutes, he was going to die. Because he's drinking no, water, he's drinking water, no? He's drinking water. Wow. Finally, he was, she was taken out of the well, and there was, pressure was there in the, given in the, you know, there, water coming out, water. Then somehow, the old lady was saved. Just next morning, just next morning, Paramiya Madhav Goswami Maharaj and Bhakti Pumat Puri Goswami Before starting Parikram, 
because their deity always going. Parikam system, Paupad used to carry deity, Gauranga Mahaprabhu, Vijay Vigra. Wherever they are walking, Gauranga Mahaprabhu also going. That is the mood, I told you, no? Gaura Amar, Jesabasthano, Korolo Brahmane Range, Sheshavasthano, Haribo Ami, Pranayi Bhakta Sangha. Wherever Gauranga Mahaprabhu travelled, here and there, we like to travel under the guidance of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. So it was this, it was a system. Whenever Prabhupada used to do Parikram, there is one deity of Gauranga, Gauranga there. Some devotee can carry Gauranga and can walk. Parame Madhu Gosima also. Parame Madhu Gosima also. One Gauranga Vigra also going. Whenever this Jatri, I mean the Parikram party, wherever this Parikram party going, with them, I mean front, Gauranga Mahapur going. So, naturally, in the morning time, they get up and they do all body, they take bath or whatever, they like to go to latrine, whatever, they will have to complete. This was the system. I used to start within 4.30 or 5. So, within that period, I complete everything, Anigami, everything come. Then sun, not rising. I travel long distance. This was the system. So before starting, I mean, Arati is over. Then Madhugusi Maharaj and Bhakti Pumat Purigusi Maharaj, they are going to speak one nice Harikatha, which I like to relate, which I like to relate with this Prahlad Maharaj. Prahlad Maharaj is speaking, I started with, Tat sadhu manne suravarja dehina, sada samud vigna diyama sadhgra, hitvatu patam, krihamanda kupam. Prahlad Maharaj speaking, they are going to commit suicide in family life. Pulladma speaking, unnecessarily, they are going to commit suicide inside this blind well of sansar, material family life. Pulladma is going to compare this family life, I mean home, attachment, with one blind well. Now, Madhugusi Maharaj and Bhakti Pumaturi are speaking nice topic of Harikata. Relating with this sloka. Same sloka, what I explained today. Speaking, you see, oh devotees, you watch. Suppose, suppose that well is dry well. Dry man, blind well. Suppose, if it is blind, blind well, then who can go to take water? Suppose it is not, suppose it is not, uh, you know, perfect well where we can get water. Suppose it is a dry well. If the old lady going to, if that old lady going to fall down in a dry well, try to understand. If that old lady going to fall down in a dry well, then there was no possibility. Who, who can? Because dry well, there is no blind well. Nobody can go to. Collect water there. Blind well actually there it is abandoned. Blind well means abandoned. Nobody going there. Who can go? Blind well. Suppose it is water is available here by chance. That's why Brahmachari wanted to collect water. And by chance he, he could see that the old lady is fallen down. With this incident, Madhugasi Maharaj and Bhakti Pumatpuri Goswami wanted to say that those who are leading their family life. If they are not going to give honor to Sadhu, Guru, Vaishnav, Dham, Nam, nothing, then no, no Sadhu can go there. Suppose. If, if we know that in this house one man is staying who becomes very angry by watching one Sadhu, so surely Sadhu cannot go. Sadhu cannot go, na? Sadhu cannot go, so that their, their house is just like blind well. If there is any problem, who can find solve? Who can find solution? If at all some Grihastha going to give honor to Sadhguru Vishnu, 
the sadhguru, anyway, they can go, how you are you? Okay, you take this potato, this, that, they can help. And in the meantime, if there is any problem, they can see and they can find solution, if sadhu at all going. And if you are leading guests of family where no sadhu coming, that means it can be compared with a blind well where there can be massive of problem, big problem. But who can solve? Because you are going to fight with sadhu. You are putting one Alsatian dog in their gate so that no sadhu can come inside. Yes, they are putting. Alsatian dog, bulldog, they are putting. If sadhu goes, they are fine. They are not going. So this way they are purposely, they are purposely going to check sadhu. They are going to, they are going to purposely, they are going to check sadhu from entering their area. Also in my case, same thing. One, because I was there in Surya Kundo, so I want to make some renovation of the temple, but I am penniless. So some devotees told Maharaj, you can try your best. So I started writing about the glories of the Surya Kundo in English and Hindi, Bengali, so nice. So that within this paper, if you read that, you can feel impression. At the same time, I wanted to draw the attention of some people. They can come forward to help. So, some devotee told me, you can go to Calcutta, this place, that man can help you. I go there. I go there because I am not going for myself. I am going for Surya Nan Bhagavan, Surya Radharani Seva. But the man going to give bad treatment to me. So bad treatment, you cannot imagine. Even cannot allow me to talk with him. So I come back. He come back, and then after that, big problem happened in his life. The day he told me this way, after within one man or two man, one big construction fall down, and so many people died. He makes some construction out, out of his manpower, money power. And that construction fall down, so many people died. I was not, I, and now I am not, never I go anywhere. Never I go anywhere to take anything from anybody. But that uh, somebody what he told for Suja and Bhagavan anyway, I can go smartly to talk with a man, if he can do. Another foreigner, I don't like to name, he is Acharya. He wanted to insult my Guru Maharaj. Guruma send me, you go, I don't like to name, he already fall down. My Guruma told you can consult, he is respecting me to help a uh, Kalna temple. But I go smartly because he respects my Guruma. When I speak the topics with him, he wanted to speak something else, which is not good. I was very sorry. So I got, come back from that place. It happened at least 22 years back. And his fall down was just three years back, two or three years back, after a long time. This, we cannot insult Guru Vaishnava. So, Madhu Gusima want to wanted to relate this incident, Guru Maharaj, that you see, if one house, they are all sadhu, are welcome, they can come. If there is a problem, they can sell. If you are not going to allow a sadhu, then it is blind oil. Well, so if somebody is going to fall down, they are falling to hell, who can go? Because you are not going to allow Sadhguru. Who can deliver you? Sadhguru Vaishnava can deliver you, no? So very nice incident. Another, or another, so many incidents I can go on speaking. After that, I can go on discuss, I can first do Vrindavan city. What you call Vrindavan city? All Govindadev, Madan Mohan, Eh, all Radharavan, all I can speak fast. After that, I can go to Bhuteshwar Mahadev. This is the rules. I can, is the rule system. First of all, you can go to Bhuteshwar Mahadev, take permission, do parikram of Bhuteshwar Baba, and take permission then. Without taking permission of Bhuteshwar Baba, no parikrama, nothing can be said. Because Bhuteshwar Maharaj is in charge of old Mathura. Bhuteshwar Maharaj, Bhuteshwar Mahadev is in charge of whole Mathura. It is responsible. So without taking permission, 
uh, Bhuteshwar Baba, yeah, Parikha. So, Tat Sadhu Mannehi Asura Varjo Dehina Shada Samud Bhigna Diyama Sad Gruhat Hitvatta Patam Grihamanda Kupam Banam Gata Hayad Harima Srayet Vanchakalpatur Vasikya Basindu Bhavish Hajitanang Papanam Bhavishnapyo